Hi friends, welcome back to the Plain Fun RC channel. This is your host, Saul. While we're waiting for the um, epoxy to dry for the fiberglass uh, for the wing and the winglets, I'm gonna take a moment to go ahead and jump into the canard construction. We can get that going. Um, here's the instruction manual here and some helpful information. Information You can always hit pause to read it. Um, so what we're doing right now is we're, we're working on number two. We just finished up number two and you can see right here how it's constructed. Uh, let me give you a shot of the plans so you can see where we are. So there's our canard right there. Let me come at an angle. Sorry about the reflection on the plastic. Um, let me come in a little closer. Oh, no, that's not really working. There we go. That's better. And you can see what we're using in terms of wood. Now notice the leading edge Oops, is the 3 16 by 3 16 spruce. And the canard itself is one quarter by one quarter inch balsa. You can see that there. And the important thing is look at your, oh, let me move this out of the way, there we go. Look at the, uh, the tip and you can see how it's carved. That's another important piece right there. Anyway. So we've gone ahead, we have our um, our spruce leading edge in place, and then we need to go ahead and do some shaping to give it a proper airfoil. And I will show you a side view of what the airfoil will look like in just a second. More to come. All right, friends. So if you look right there, there's our canard, and you can see the general airfoil. It's not too complicated for the most part rounded leading edge, and you can see you just have a little bit of a, uh, pretty much a flat bottom airfoil with just a little curve on the top. So there's our canard right there. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna cut the, the canard to the proper length, and then we'll sand in the airfoil. More to come. All right, friends. So you can see here we've got our canard cut to our proper width, as you can see there on the plan. So now we're gonna go ahead and do some shaping and get it to the uh, proper airfoil. All right, more to come. All right, friends, as we continue our update here uh, with the assembly of the canard, you can see that we have our end pieces shaped. And I just took the, uh, I took it and made a copy of the plans and just cut this out. And a little good old, good old Elmer's glue stick, stick it on, and then just sand it accordingly with the belt sander. And then I also uh, took the end piece here, as you can see, and I'll show you what that is in just a second because you'll have to shape it. And what I'm referring to, if we look at the plans here, look at A, A, B, B, C, C. You can see the shape of each. And you can see the direct the correlation as listed on the plans where it says A, A, B, B, and C, C. So you can see that right there. So anyway, it's gotta be shaped as well. So we'll go ahead, we'll, uh, I recommend doing the initial shaping this way first get these on and then you can go ahead and work on doing the shaping here uh next it's a little easier that way uh, of course if you want to shape it here as well that's fine but you can see it this is thicker let me put this uh next to the other piece here you can see it is thicker so you're going to have to shape it anyway to match the airfoil and we have our airfoil in here by the way i did shape that and i'll just give you a quick side view of that there's not much, just a little bit of an airfoil, as you can see right there. Not too much. And of course, don't forget to round off your leading edge as well, as you can see there. All right. More to come. All right, friends, continuing with our update here, you can see we have our wingtips carved. And it came out really, really well. Just really nice. Really happy with it. Let me see if I can set this down and prop it up with one hand. There we go zoom in a little bit came out really good real happy with it and of course the other one just came out just as equally as good as you can see so anyway that's done we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to uh to glass it let me show you where we are on the instructions by the way for those that need it uh so we finished up number five just now and moving on to six. So that's where we are at this present time. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put on those, uh, those layers of, of glass and more to come. 
All right, friends, as we continue your update here, what you're looking at is the canard, and we are looking at the bottom portion. Uh, what we have on there at the moment is a two ounce fiberglass. Once again, same technique, it's a 3M77. Put down your fiberglass, trim it, and then go ahead and uh, paint on your uh, epoxy. Anyway, um, the canard requires two layers on both sides of two ounce fiberglass. So we're starting with our bottom. We'll let that dry. We'll flip it over and do our top. And then we'll go ahead, uh, flip it back over, do our bottom, and flip it back over and do the top. Of course, you know, waiting for each layer to dry accordingly. So that's where we are at the moment. The elevators themselves, they will get a, um, a three quarter ounce, three quarter ounce, okay? And there's a few other way, a few other things you have to do when it comes to fiberglassing, but we'll talk about that uh, later on. So, they, but they, they, they just get one layer on each side. All right, more to come. Now, all right, friends, you can see we've got our canard uh, covered in fiberglass. The epoxy is drying, so we'll let this sit for a full 24 hours. Then we'll go ahead and flip it over and do the top. So our canard is coming along. All right, more to come. Hi friends, welcome back to the Plain Fun RC channel as we continue our update here on the canard. Right now we're looking at the top of the canard and just want to talk to you about what I did. Did something a little different this time. We still did the 3M77 and put the fiberglass on top, but the issue I'm having is was getting the fiberglass to stay on the leading edge as well as the trailing edge because after putting the epoxy in place, it would just lift right up. So this time we used a little good old thin CA, uh, which I've used in the past for fiberglass and it worked perfect, dries very fast, and it's held the fiberglass in place. Now, if you don't want to use epoxy to hold this in place, you can use thin CA, by the way. It will work. Obviously, the uh, epoxy is going to give you a bit more strength, but, uh, but of course, the speed is of the essence, or you have tight curves like the, like the leading edge and the trailing edge, uh, then, th then it'll work. So it worked very well, though. It did hold this in place, plus the curved end pieces here use some thin CA, because since this curves up, as you can see, more than likely the, the, the fiberglass would wind up lifting up after I put the epoxy in place. But we're gonna go ahead and still brush this remaining fiberglass with the epoxy, the uh, high saw 120, and then we'll go ahead and let that dry. More to come. All right, friends, as we continue our update here, you can see we have our first top layer of uh, fiberglass in place. The epoxy has been put on. I've got these hold downs here just to help make sure that the canard is nice and level uh, and even with the table so we don't get any warping of any kind. Anyway, we're going to let that dry for 24 hours, then put our second coat on on the bottom, and then keep on keeping on. More to come. All right, friends, as we continue our update here with the canard, we're looking at our second layer of two ounce fiberglass, the medium fiberglass. We're looking at the bottom of the canard. Same technique, 3M77, and then go ahead and put your uh, fiberglass over top. Once again, we're gonna use the, uh, the technique I mentioned yesterday as well. I'm gonna use a little thin CA here on the leading edge because of the tight curve, and some thin CA here on the trailing edge because also of that, of that 90, degree, or 90 degree arch. I'm finding the fiberglass does not stay well on areas like that. So I'm gonna hit that. And I also use it on the wingtips here, these tight curves. It worked really well, but we'll use the epoxy here on the main section of the canard right in here. All right, more to come. All right, friends, continue our update here. We're looking at the uh, canard. Once again, we've got our fiberglass trimmed. We used our CA on our, on, our, on our trailing edge here and on our leading edge, a little bit leaked over in the center, but that's okay. Once again, when you put down your epoxy, you can use all CA. I mean, when you put down your fiberglass, you can use all CA through the whole process. You can see I used it over here on, on, the, uh, on the edges here, and it actually went on really nice. So now we're gonna take our 120, our high saw 120 epoxy, and go ahead and just go over this section in here, and also over here as well. All right, more to come. All right, friends, as we continue our update here, we're looking at the top of the canard. We've got our fiberglass in place. Uh, once again, the 3M77 and lay down your fiberglass. Use a little thin CA here on the leading edge and the trailing edge. And then we'll go ahead and we'll brush on the, uh, the high saw 120 epoxy, 120 minute epoxy, two hour epoxy. And we'll let that dry overnight. 
All right, more to come. All right, friends, continuing with our update on the on the canard, you can see we have our, our final layer of fiberglass in place with the epoxy over top. So we're going to let that dry for a full 24 hours. And the canard itself is basically done in terms of fiberglassing. So that's all finished. So our next focus is we're going to go ahead and get and, and get started with the elevator, uh, get that taken care of, and we need to fiberglass that as well. So more to come. All right, friends, as we continue our update here on the canard, we are looking at, uh, we finished number six with regards to the fiberglass from what we uh, uh, just done number seven. Now we're on to number eight. Let me show you what we're talking about with number eight there. So uh, this is the 1 16th birch ply. And you can see we've got some marks here where we're gonna drill some holes. We've got a center line shown right there. This is just a temporary clamp just to hold it in place. I haven't glued it on just yet. Let me show you what it looks like on the plans. And you can see the birch, a little difficult to see, it's reflecting the light a little bit, but there it is. Um, you can see the birch plate right there, and that's what, what the screws are gonna go into to hold that canard onto the front of the fuselage. So that's what we're gonna glue in place, and then we're gonna move on to the elevators themselves. All right, more to come. All right, friends, as we continue our update here, we're looking at the elevators themselves. You can see we've got our elevators cut accordingly, and uh, we also have our leading edge sanded uh, roughly about a 45 degree angle, as you can see there. There it is, and that's important, okay? We're not rounding it off. Anyway, uh, what we're gonna do next uh, is we're gonna be putting on a single layer of three quarter ounce on the bottom and on the top, and of course, don't forget the, uh, the, uh, the edges as well. Uh, right now, let me show you where we are on the instructions. You can see it there. We're looking at uh, number 11, so that's where we are at this present time. All right, more to come. All right, friends, as we continue our update here, we're looking at the elevator, the bottom of the elevator, and you can see when I come in a little closer, we uh, there's our three-quarter ounce fiberglass. I used just five-minute epoxy this time with a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol, 70%, like we've like we've been doing in terms of the 70%, but I went with five minute because honestly, I just want to get this done. So, uh, you know, it's more than enough to hold the fiberglass in place and give the support it needs. And of course we did both at the same time because the structures are not very big. So we're going to let that sit for a full two hours and we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip it and then do the top portion and then they will be done and then we can go ahead and begin the other, other uh, steps uh, with regards to the elevator. All right, more to come. All right, friends, welcome back to the Plain Fun RC channel as we continue our update here on the elevator. Right now we're looking at the top, top of the elevators, and we're about ready to put our final layer of the three-quarter ounce fiberglass in place. Uh, same technique, 3M77, and then the fiberglass itself, and then, of course, we'll, do, we'll trim everything, and then we'll put on our, our, uh, our epoxy. All right, more to come. All right, friends, as we continue our update here, the elevators have received their top cover of the three quarter ounce light fiberglass. Once again, I use the five minute epoxy, which I gotta admit that is the best of all the epoxies here. It just works great, dries quick, and you can get this done a lot faster. I probably should have used it uh, all along. I will tell you that when you add the isopropyl alcohol, it does slow the drying process somewhat. So you have some time to actually work with it to spread it on and of course remove the excess as well. So anyway, uh, you can see it's on there. It looks great. I'm gonna trim up, trim up these little excess parts here with, uh, with the scissors, but then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna continue on and we're looking at step number 12 is where we are at this time, as you can see. And then we'll move on to the remaining steps. All right, folks, more to come. All right, friends, as we continue our update here, you can see we've got our canard hinged. So we're looking great, looking really good. Now we're going to go ahead. We need to take a moment, and uh, we have our elevator connector here, as you can see. And we need to go ahead and put that, uh, we're going to drill some holes. You can see the marks right there and right there. And we need to drill some holes in the elevator to mount that. Now, you can also, one quick thing I want you to want to point out to you, uh, notice how the ends here, oops, the ends are a little longer than what's on the plan, so you're going to need to make sure you trim that. So just keep that in mind. All right, more to come.
All right, friends, as we continue our update here, we're doing the very last step of the canard here. Let me show you what we've got. We have a one inch, uh, one inch wide by three inch long piece of um, three quarter ounce fiberglass wrapped all the way around. We have to have, make sure you have something here on the inboard as well. The reason being is you've got your um, elevator connector here and this wood is very thin. And if you didn't add the additional piece of fiberglass on top of what's already there, it, it would just wind up busting through. So a little 3M77, we're gonna use a little CA to hold this in place. CA also works really well keeping fiberglass in place. So let me just show you the last step. And then after this, we'll be moving on to the, um, the fuselage. So there is step 13, which we just did with the elevator, elevator connector. And then we're doing step 14, which is the final step of the canard. All right, that's it. And in the next video, we'll be starting our fuselage construction. More to come.